What's going on, guys? Uh, we're back again. We're gonna do a little bit different of a video today because back behind me, I got myself a 3D printer. Which, you know, everyone's getting 3D printers nowadays. What's so cool about me having one? Well, I'll tell you what, because I discovered a thing that I couldn't find anywhere else on the internet, so I figured I'd publish a video on it. And, uh, so yeah. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, so here we are, we're looking at the print, and uh, this is the Creality Ender 3 3D printer. It's the smaller version of the CR10 from what I can gather. Um, and so mainly when I bought this, it was specified to print PLA and ABS only. In fact, it has settings in there where you can preheat PLA or ABS, but not any other material. And so I got to researching because I wanted to print TPU or flexible filaments for those of you that are less educated. Just kidding. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, because I needed to print TPU and I didn't know if this printer would be able to do it. I kind of just dove headfirst into it and said, well, screw it, I'll try it myself. And bought a couple of rolls of TPU and what do you know prints it really good printed out gopro mount here for the knockoff because i don't actually afford gopros nowadays but whatever so we got the mount here on the quad and as you can tell it's flexible this is genuine tpu that actually squishes. It's not fake. This is not clickbait, I promise. It's real. I actually did do this, and it was actually a lot easier than you'd think. So I'm gonna take you through what I'm doing here to be able to print this, use the settings on the printer. Okay, so here we're looking at my settings, running 205 degrees and 50 degrees on the build plate. Um, other than that, this printer is stock, just changed the temperatures a little bit. The uh, only thing I did change was I moved the filament rack from up here on the top shelf to down here, right behind the um, Z-axis motor. And that gives you less play in the filament. It just runs straight from here into the tube. This is the stock Bowden tube and it goes perfectly fine into there. So yeah, enjoy yourself some flexible prints with that like I'm doing. Works perfectly well. A good phone case that I printed out here. Got another one printing there. It's going to be multicolored like the one on my phone right now. Um, yeah. So that's 3D printing flexible filaments on a stock Creality 3D printer.